It happens, sometimes people lose their smoke ventilation systems. Bizarre, I know, but hear me out. Let's throw two minutes on the clock, we'll go inside and we'll discuss why they lose them. Back in the 50s, 60s and 70s, high-rise blocks of flats were being built as part of post-war progress. At the same time, owing to a number of building fires, people were becoming more aware of the risk of smoke. The obvious solution to venting smoke was to leave some holes in the building to let the smoke out. Let's remember that automated systems and computers were reasonably rare, so the idea of permanent ventilation like this was introduced. However, permanent ventilation in tall towers also has the side effect of making people very chilly and causing doors to slam in the corridors. So frozen residents called up the local builders and asked them to block the vents up. No holes, no wind, no problem. Only they didn't know the real reason the building had holes to let the smoke out in the event of a fire. That's why when surveying old buildings, fire risk assessors, fire protection teams and the likes were left scratching their heads wondering where the provision for smoke ventilation had gone, because it literally had gone. There's a few approaches to solving these problems when they crop up. Sometimes the holes are opened up and automatic opening vents, usually in the form of facade louvers, are put in place of the old permanent vents. Other times, the building is deemed high risk enough to warrant a mechanical smoke control system, and duct work is used to create a shaft. If you've lost your smoke ventilation system, hopefully now you've got a good idea of where to look for it. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next week.